Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, COVID survivors. Glad to see you survived. And for all of you who didn't, well, uh, I guess you're not watching the video. Well, anyway, uh, I told you about my vacation. I was off work for a month. Well, uh, they fucked that all up. I'm back at work now. And, well, I really got used to being off work and I liked it. But uh, I'm not rich enough to be off work yet, so I guess I'm lucky I got a job and I'm back at work and I can make some money. Anyway, right now, since the COVID virus is still going on, and especially where it hasn't even hit yet, like in Texas, where I'm at, <laughs> everything's still closed up. So we ordered some food from Chili's. And we're going to the online, oh, what do they call that, curbside pickup. Yes. And, uh, you know, I spend money every now and then I'll go to Chili's because of the atmosphere. You know, I like sitting in there and drinking a beer and everything. Well, I'm paying the same damn money to drive through there and have them bring it to the car. And then eat it in my house. But, uh, you take a, drink a few beers and that sounds like a pretty good deal, you know. So, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, we're fixing to go see what the curbside pickup's like up at Chili's. And then, uh, I'm sorry I didn't make more videos, of it, but uh, here in uh, East Texas, well, it hadn't been that big of a deal, you know. It's like not too crazy. You see a few people wearing masks, and uh, I don't ever wear mine. I have several masks and bandanas, and uh, I tried them on, and I look real cool and all, so... Maybe I should do a video of me going through town wearing one. Uh, I'm gonna go. To, maybe I should wear one and go in the bank. You know, I would look like an outlaw in the bank. Oh no, the bank's closed. Well, I could go through the drive-through maybe. But uh, anyway, right now we're going to Chili's and to pick up our food, and uh, I guess I'll show you what happens. Okay, here we are. We're at Chili's and we're fixing to test the uh, curbside pickup where they are supposed to bring my food right out to me. I wonder if they'd bring a beer out to me. Uh, I mean, I already got a beer, but I don't think I could afford another one. But we'll find out. There's a lovely young lady. She looked like she could really bring you some food. Okay. The website said 708. They're a minute late already, a whole minute. Next time I get the coronavirus, I'm going to Applebee's. Alrighty. Uh, nope, oh, not that's They've not been mine yet either. Been man, this is false advertising, man. Sitting out here, running out of beer. Waiting on my food. This shit ain't right. I think this is it. This is it. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a blessed day. Oh yeah. It's a big old bag too. Look at it. And they were only look at that. Four minutes late three if you give them a break break all right then that was the curbside pickup <laughs> and it worked out pretty good they were just like uh three minutes late and uh i say i'll give them a pass on that now and look at this big old big old sh bag of shit they gave us that looks good that looks good so anyway that's life in the era of the COVID. Now, I know one thing. The president, who I trust immensely, told me I could drink bleach or Lysol and, it, and I wouldn't get it. And, um, well, I, don't, I may not get it, but fuck, that shit tastes like shit. So anyway, I'm just gonna stay, I'm gonna try to avoid people, you know, six foot. I'm not wearing a mask and shit because I don't wanna look like a dumbass. But, 
I'm going to try to stay six foot and uh, I may wash my hands I don't like washing my hands all that much but uh, that's what I'm going to try to do to keep from getting it so we'll see you all later bye bye